everyone and thank you for tuning in. You're watching In the Studio. I'm your host, Lynn Weaver. The program is brought to you by Davis Media Access and is broadcast on Davis Community Television, that's Comcast Channel 15 and AT&T Uverse Menu 99. We're also online at dctv.davismedia.org. Today's topic is the Affordable Care Act, also known as Obamacare. My guest will help us to understand this very important piece of health legislation, what it is and how it's currently being implemented in California. Uh, I have here with me Anne Gonzalez, the Public Information Officer from Calvert, California, and welcome, and thank you for so much for joining the show tonight. Oh, it's a pleasure being here, Lynn. That's great. Thanks for having me. Oh, uh, I know you're very busy, and so it's, it's, we're particularly uh, happy that you can make it uh, and, and be on our show tonight. Let's start with a very, very basic question. Mm -hmm. What is Obamacare? <laughs> <laughs> so Obamacare is um, the the uh, the actual name of the law is the 2010 Patient Protection and Affordable Care Act, and it is um, you know sometimes nicknamed Obamacare because it was um, Obama's um, vision and his his very great desire to have this piece of legislation uh, pass and, and be, uh, become a law. And uh, Covered California is um, the state's implementation of the Affordable Care Act. I see, yes. And um, uh, now, who are, who are the people? You have a website, and we're going to take a peek at this yes. website in a, in a moment. But who are the people uh, enrolling, uh, coming to your website to mm -hmm. enroll? Uh, well, we, um, this is going to be a long-term, multi-year uh, shift in, in how insurance companies or how, excuse me, healthcare providers and plans uh, do business and how consumers can get healthcare coverage. So there are um, many things about the law that uh, you, you know that we have adopted, adapted to our state. Mm -hmm. um, we are one of 17 uh, states in the nation who chose to um, set up and operate uh, a, a, an insurance marketplace called an, an exchange. The exchange, mm -hmm. the famous exchange. Correct. Yes. Correct. Yes. And then uh, the remainder of the states are, uh, you know, having the federal government oversee their exchange. And um, so our website is uh, www.covered.ca, excuse me, yes. www.coveredca.com. Gov. Uh, no, com. Com. sorry. Yes. Yeah, that's okay. So one one thing, um, you know, it is a very complex type of legislation, mm -hmm. and one thing that people wonder about uh, covered California, does it partner with uh, Medical mm -hmm. and Medicare? Mm -hmm. uh, so it does. It yes. it actually um, it part we our partner is uh, in our effort to set up the exchange is the. Department of Healthcare Services, yes. the State Department of Healthcare Services, which manages Medi-Cal in our state. I see. And so we are not uh, affiliated with Medicare, um, but we are affiliated with Medi-Cal, which is uh, offers low income, uh, excuse me, low cost and no cost um, insurance, insurance coverage mm -hmm. for low healthcare. income people, it, yes. depending on their uh, income. That's correct. It's based on their income. Now, what would you say are the key advantages of Obamacare as opposed to what we had before? Sure. And so the, the law went into effect in 2010. And since then, some consumer protections have already been put into place because of that. That would include being able to keep your child on your insurance plan, um, or yes, on your health plan 
uh, through the age of 26. Yes, uh, which was not possible before. Was not. It expanded yes. that coverage period for your for children um, to stay on your plan. Yes. Um, it also there were uh, uh, there's uh, some some uh, provisions for children with pre-existing conditions. Yes. You can get better cover- coverage for them. And um, there is there was um, uh, let's see the uh, guaranteed issue mm-hmm. so that you cannot be uh, denied coverage or dropped have your coverage dropped because of a pre-existing pre- condition and right. pre-existing condition being if you have a chronic disease or some type of catastrophic. Uh, uh, serious illness, Correct. all of a sudden uh, your insurance plan mm-hmm. prior to Obamacare mm-hmm. could very easily drop you. Is that correct? And it does not yes. have to be anything uh, too catastrophic. For instance, some individuals in the who were trying to get insurance in the uh, individual market the way it is now, uh, they were getting turned down or dropped for hypertension, diabetes, um, uh, any 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 type of uh, or they were paying exorbitant prices I see. for coverage. I so, see. Um, or they were being surprised when they got to the point of delivery, mm-hmm. um, either the emergency room or the doctor's office, to find out that their plan didn't cover everything that they were um, that they thought that they were getting coverage for. So those were the types of of problems that yes. that people were having with their insurance. Uh, plans so that that's where this outcry and mandate came for the Affordable Care Act. I see. And uh, since we've talked a little bit about, there are many other advantages, of course, but uh, we can't really cover them all here uh, in during this interview. But now that we've covered some of the key advantages, can you think of a drawbacks of this plan? You know that uh, there is. Uh, uh, it's a very controversial piece of legislation, as we all know, and especially uh, the Republican Party is very much against uh, Obamacare. And so, what uh, you are very experienced uh, with uh, with the insurance companies and how they operate. How would you say? What would you say are the drawbacks as as compared to what we had before? The um uh, there is never a piece of legislation that goes through Congress and uh, pleases everybody on both sides of the aisle. I would Very say. Very true. Yes. Um, however, this uh, w- this will be monumental in what it does for um, especially uninsured people or underinsured people in uh, in our country. Yes. Um, we don't really get into the politics of putting this plan into place. Our our mission is to implement the law as it was, uh, you know, as it was passed. Yes. And keeping in mind that it uh, has survived uh, more than 40 challenges, I think, in the in Congress yes. uh, since its passage and has also been upheld by the Supreme Court. So yes. we're pretty clear on what our our job is now. Yes. It's been tested, it's been challenged, and it is now here, and we're in the process of putting it into place. So I am not, we try not to get into the politics of that. Very wise. <laughs> <laughs> we just know that there are, every day there are people who um, call us, write us on Facebook, um, who contact us and um, our service and our service center representatives are hearing from many people who are we have been waiting for this day and in many ways our country has been waiting for this legislation for a hundred years oh, but that is true so what type of what is the range of uh, population that uh, you see coming to your website or calling you or we, making inquiries yes our target um, our target audience in California is uh, 5.3 million people this represents the number of people who are Either uninsured or underinsured, for instance. Five million? Yes, 5.3 million. Mm -hmm. That's a huge amount, yes. Correct, correct. Um, And the, uh, I I think the total number of 
of uninsured people is actually 7 million, um, but some of those are going to be moving into uh, the Affordable Care Act also acted to expand Medi-Cal coverage. That's correct. So some of those will be moving into the, our new Medi-Cal. Which uh, is extended and mm -hmm. California is taking subsidies from the federal government? Correct. It'll, yes. That will be managed through the through the Department of Healthcare Services. I understand. And yeah. um, when a person enrolls in our uh, uh, in Covered California, it is a single application very streamlined, so when they fill out the application and it, um, we find that they are, uh, can qualify for Medi-Cal, then we explain to them that they can, they can go into the Medi-Cal program for um, low cost or no cost coverage, and uh, then Medi-Cal would take it from there and help them sign up for those sign. expanded benefits under that. Do you, uh, perhaps you don't have off the top of your head, but what, what would be the um, requirement for being eligible to Medi-Cal, like uh, sure. uh, the, the, the salary, I suppose, the income? Yeah. Sure, it's on a sliding scale, and it is, um, uh, uh, and I'm sorry, I, I, can't, I don't want to quote the wrong, no, no, <laughs> the wrong no, no. income, but... It is, uh, and it's okay from, if you don't. It is actually it. from 138 percent of the federal poverty level and below, mm -hmm. and then there are different. Um, it, it also depends on how many people you have in your Of course, household. if you're a family mm -hmm. of four, or, but, yes. but between 139 percent of the federal poverty level and 400 percent of the federal poverty level, there are um, uh, bands. You know, there are different and different incomes, uh, sliding scale incomes. Right. And in in that area, it, you you can um, uh, you qualify for help either cost-sharing subsidies mm -hmm. that help you with your out-of-pocket costs um, and also premium assistance, which can, uh, which you can use towards your premiums uh, to buy health care and uh, it will make it more affordable for your household. I see. Well, that's, uh, that's very interesting. Now, um, let's display uh, your website, okay. the homepage, so All that right. we get a feel of where... Uh, so here it is. Yes. And um, uh, let's suppose that I'm looking mm -hmm. to shop for mm -hmm. an insurance uh, policy. Sure. So how would I go about it uh, there? Well, I would suggest yes. that your first stop be, um, we have some tabs across the top. Yes. That explain some of the, uh, actually some of the points that we've been making tonight, which yes. is the, um, some of the coverage basics. Uh, it will. It it uh, has some of the uh, resources. Mm -hmm. It has um, a health plan booklet and health plan summary, and will explain all of the income levels. Oh, I see. Yes, yes. and it will explain all of the the essential health benefits mm -hmm. that each plan is required to have. Mm -hmm. And um, and if you go to the to the middle to the lower middle part of the page, yeah. you'll find a shop and compare tool. I see, yes. And that would be a good starting point because that is, um, you do not have to enter any personal information. You enter a little bit of information. Uh, you're, you would enter your age, the number of people in your household, and your zip code, and your income. I see. And it will call up for you a list of different plans that are offered in your region. Mm -hmm. There are 19 different rating mm -hmm. regions. And then it would um, tell you what you might qualify for, either Medi-Cal, uh, cost-sharing subsidies, or premium assistance. Well, that's very interesting. And uh, it, I, I am happy to say that uh, uh, yesterday, I uh, I went onto your, your website and I tried to enroll and compare to health plans, and I'm very happy to say that uh, unlike the uh, federal health uh, Obamacare website, your website California Ca cover uh, website works beautifully. I had no trouble, no yes. glitches, yes, and no looping. So yes. uh, that that's yes. very encouraging. We've been working yes. very very hard, very diligently. Um, to use consumer feedback and service center 
um, you, you know, uh, yes, feedback. Yes, and, testing. You did a lot oh, of testing and, with and, consumers. And yes. then we have been taking our enrollment function down uh, at certain periods, lo- very low traffic times of the day, like, th- you know, yes. n- n- 10 at night until 3 in, three or in the morning. In the and morning, like yes. That. And, uh, and then we have been taking it down on Sundays because our, our um, service center is not open then. And we have been increasing bandwidth. We've been increasing sp- uh, page loading speeds and generally trying to make it more intuitive and working on the path, you know, the navigation paths and making it. That's um, terrific. So I, there should be no stumbling blocks I now heard for any. people yes. going from one end to the other on yes. enrollment. Yes, but, uh, and, and it's, a, it's a great resource. Uh, even if you're not interested in, in enrolling right away, or you have your own health insurance already, it's a very, uh, it's a very informative website. And, and I do just want to make sure that, that you understand that the Shop and Compare tool that I showed you is just that. It will give you an estimate. And then there is a tab um, on, the, on the front page that says Start Here, and that will actually take you to the enrollment portal. I see. That's very, mm-hmm. it's a good distinction. Yes. Now, one, one thing that I'm not clear about is that Suppose I want some insurance uh, and I go to your website, can I enroll in a plan without being contacted by an agent? Oh, absolutely. I see. Our, uh, one of the, uh, you know, um, one of the centers of this, the centerpieces of, of the ACA is that uh, it allow, we're using online tools Yes. so that uh, somebody can do it themselves. Um, that we have full functionality for somebody to complete uh, self-service online enrollment. Very good. However, if you need help, we have um, hundreds of service center representatives at three different service centers throughout California um, and growing every day. We're training and adding to those as um, our peak enrollment will probably be in n- November, December areas. Yes. Um, we also have certified enrollment counselors, um, hundreds of those being trained and certified to give one-on-one in-person assistance. Um, so you could go to a... We do have licensed uh, agents that are certified yes. to sell Cover California products. Yes. Uh, but there are many different options for you to uh, to go through the process that's very interesting, and um, um, uh, you, the population is going to be enormous. So the the projection is that more than three million people will be uh, looking for uh, insurance uh, uh, with uh, with the Affordable Care Act. Um, I don't know if you've listened, uh, if you watched or listened to the news today, but uh, <laughs> the <laughs> the media was raging about. Uh, the, this uh, uh, famous uh, quote, and they kept quoting President Obama <laughs> and what he's been saying for the last four years. Namely, if you have a health care plan, if you are insured and you like your plan, I don't sound like him, but anyway, I'm paraphrasing, <laughs> you can keep it, period. And now it turns out that that's not of, that's not always the case. That very yeah. often the plan that you had and you liked it does no longer exist or is no longer offered by uh, by the insurance company under the Obamacare. Correct. Uh, is that correct? And, well, and, and why is that? Well, what yeah. happened is that um, there was, uh, you know quite a bit of misinformation floating around at the time that the, the president was starting yes. his education pro- his, his education process. Yes. And um, for the, I mean, in general, he is correct. If you have, uh, for instance, in California, 90% of, of people that, that are insured get their insurance through their um, employer. employers. Yes. Correct. And so... That statement was made in a, a general broad sense that yes. most people, if they have insurance, they uh, they are really not going to have to to uh, to wonder about this or or, or change. Know, or, they're or, not going to have to change yes. if they have employer 
uh, sponsored coverage. Yes. Um, so in California, or, but, but under the Affordable Care Act, because of these new consumer protections in the individual market, um, now keeping in mind that this market has historically been the most expensive um, it has been the most volatile, Yes, has been the least secure for people, mm -hmm. is offered the leanest benefits. Mm -hmm. So these are what we call Swiss cheese plans. They have so <laughs> many holes in them. Yes. And people are uh, being dropped uh, with no, with, um, for pre-existing or uh, conditions or because they get sick. They are being uh, shuffled around to other plans. They are at the mercy of, of the market in terms of their premium. premiums yes. can, can uh, be increased. And, and, of course, we have all seen, you know, across the board, have seen health care costs rise over the last couple Enormously. of decades. Yes, yes. About it's 10 to 12 percent, yes. you know. So um, those, those people who are on plans... That are these bare bones plans, Swiss cheese, Swiss cheese plans. Yes, they. Uh, what happened is, uh, uh, the uh, they will need to uh, if they're not being grandfathered in, they need to, you know, Disappear. bring their standards up yes. or create or move these people to to other plans. So it's it's not really that. And some in some cases, these people, in fact, in California where we estimate that maybe 900,000 people will have to transition to other plans, 310 of the thousand of those, or about a third of those, will be able to go to the exchange and mm -hmm. qualify for subsidies that will either keep their premiums around the same as what they're paying mm -hmm. or could lower their premiums. I so see. it is a mixed bag mm -hmm. of what's happening in terms of costs, but the important thing is all of these people will get the same benefits, the, the same mm -hmm. safety net and the mm -hmm. same security of these 10 essential health mm -hmm. benefits that were not there before. Well, that's very reassuring. I also read that some of the insurance plans uh, prior to the protection, uh, the Consumer Protection Act or Affordable Care Act, uh, were unfair in, in some respect. For example, I read that women would pay more, uh, that uh, 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 mammograms, for example, were not covered. Now, uh, the plans under Obamacare, mammograms have to be covered and uh, 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 some mm -hmm. other preventive... Uh, uh, medicine testing. Of course. Yes. Uh, the, uh, and there is a list of 10 essential health benefits that are outlined in the Affordable Care Act. Yes. And they are on our website. Uh, but one of them is, uh, but they, they do include maternity care. They include preventive care. Some of these plans did not even have preventive care. So you would still pay for your annual exam. Mm -hmm. uh, there were, the, and we also require prescription Oh, that's right. The prescription Correct. coverage, which uh, that could always be a surprise. Drugs are exorbitantly expensive in many cases. Yes. Now, um, let's. Um, what I wanted to ask: um, a lot of people are called. Uh, it, it's it's not really related to Obamacare. Well, it is related, but it's a sort of uh, uh, going a little further. There are people who say that because so many more. Uh, people will be insured and will be eligible for a lot more care, that California is going to have a huge shortage of doctors, especially primary care uh, physicians. Uh, are you aware of this? And oh. how how is the state? I know it's not really your field, but how do you think the state is coping with this? Actually, it, it's a very important uh, issue to cover California because uh, increase, you know, uh, expanding health care coverage is one thing, but we also have to make sure that people can get access to the care that they That's right, up especially for. in the rural areas, for example, Correct. in California. Correct. Yes. And so quite a bit of time was spent. Um, uh, we solicited bids. Because we are an active purchaser, and uh, that means that we 
negotiate directly with the health plans. So part of that negotiation process included, uh, you know, look, we're interested in having uh, good premiums. We want to make this affordable, but we also, you, we need to have a balance of, of access to care. And so when these uh, plans were submitting their bids, they had to prove that they had adequate networks that they were uh, able to serve the amount of people that, that would be coming. And they also had to submit uh, emergency plans mm-hmm. that uh, would would automatically kick mm-hmm. in if we find that there are bottlenecks anywhere in, in, provi- in the uh, network. Um, but you have to understand that for some people um, who have never had coverage, Having any, you know, this is a brand new world. It is. You know, they're going to have coverage. And so. I can't imagine not having the, uh, the reassurance of having right. health care. Yes. Well, this is so interesting, and uh, I'm afraid that we are running out of time. Um, and so we need to leave it there. But I just want to remind our viewers that uh, please go to the website, covered, uh, ca. Dot com. com. Right. And uh, if you have any questions, I'm sure that uh, Anne Gonzalez can be reached at some point, <laughs> somewhere. Yeah. And uh, Anne, I just wanted to thank you so very much for being on our show and for giving us uh, uh, so much information about uh, the Affordable Care Act and Obamacare, as everybody yes. uh, knows it. I appreciate uh, the opportunity to, to share some, some information about it. Well, thank you so much. And... Uh, Of course, thank you, uh, all of you, for watching from home. Uh, You've been watching in the studio. I'm your host, Lynn Weaver. Now, if you want to see this program again, uh, you can go to our website at dctv.davismedia.org. And perhaps while you're there, you can uh, maybe check some of our other interesting programs and, uh, uh, and enjoy them as well. Again, thank you. And see you next time.